hi there welcome to this video and in this video i will give you one analytics case study which you will find it for any beginner or any person who is at intermediate level a good case study where you will look at how you can import the data how you can uh, massage the data based on the requirements and uh, finally giving the answers with the help of uh, visualization matrix or text so this this case study is basically independent of the tool that you want to use you can use microsoft excel you can use click view you can use tableau you can use python or any tool of your interest and that's why i tried to make it tool independent so that any of you who has a special interest let's say you are learning power bi from my blog or you have learned tableau from my blog or click view from my blog you can just go ahead and apply this in the tool of your interest or you are like completely new you have not seen my blog but want to do an analytics case study then uh, you can basically use it uh, whatever tool that you are using uh, for for this case study so before i tell you about the case study let's review the data that i'm going to provide you for this case study and this data you can the link for this data can be found from the uh, description of the uh, from the description of the uh, of this video all right so let's go ahead and see the data so here is the data that i want to give you in this uh, for the solution of this case study and if you see this is a sports related data and this sports is a very famous sport and if you have just looked at the data it's basically a cricket sports data so this data is basically having the information about the matches that have been played various uh, between various regions like for example new zealand pakistan uae ireland and australia england and ireland sorry sri lanka and zimbabwe scotland a lot of different countries if you see uh, they have played the matches in the year 2018 so this entire data is of 2018 starting from the 6th january and going up till the 14th december so that that completes one year of the cricket and uh, it has the information about what is a team one that means the first team what is a team two the second team against which they have played the match and then finally who was the winner right so when you say that between the new zealand and pakistan if new zealand is the winner then obviously pakistan is the loser in this case or in this cricket match and uh, sort of questions which may come is uh, who lost most of the matches so you need to keep in mind that you only have got the winner information and from this you can even drive the lost matches information and then you have the margin margin based on which the uh, the match was won so in this case 61 runs right so match was won by 61 runs so what does that mean so if you don't know cricket at all there are two scenarios in which uh, you can win the match either by the number of wickets so here in case eight wickets by eight wickets you won uh, new zealand won the match and 61 runs that means by 61 runs new zealand won the match so what is the difference the difference is who played first in this case uh, in case of 61 runs win by 61 runs new zealand actually played first they let's say made 261 run in the in their innings of uh, let's say 50 overs match and then pakistan when they played it they made only 200 runs so this way new zealand won by 61 run all right when it comes to eight wickets New Zealand actually played second inning or it played it after Pakistan played so for example let's say suppose Pakistan made 200 run in their inning and then when New Zealand came into the play they only lost two wickets and made 201 run and that's why they won by eight wicket so 
total it's basically uh, there are 11 players and uh, sorry in this case they lost three wickets and that's why they have still got eight wickets in hand which they can play so that's basically a basic difference between uh, when it comes to winning by a wicket or when it comes to winning by a run and then you have over here the ground information on which ground this match was played for example wellington this is in new zealand nelson this is in new zealand this is dubai dunlin because it looks like it's in uh, new zealand and then melbourne which is basically a sydney sorry uh, which is basically in australia then dhaka which is bangladesh and then so on and so forth the information about the different uh, venues on which the match was played and then you have the match date which is let's say if you got any time series information like for example in each month how many number of matches were played then you can basically look at the match date column and basically transform this into a sort of a time series which let's say by date by week by month by quarter all of that information you can display since you have the most raw level date which is an actual date on which the match was played all right and this at the end is the basically the information that odi is a one day international match um, and it's basically the match number is 3946 the match number is 3947 so it's basically an incremental number indicating uh, what is the match number uh, right from the beginning when the first match was played so this this match was 3946th ODI match played between New Zealand and Pakistan in the ground Wellington on on uh, date 6th Jan 2018 so that's at a high level a description about the data set for those who don't know uh, much about the cricket but still wants to pick up this case study as well as for those who knows the cricket but uh, before the case study it's always 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 a good uh, uh, you know habit to go through in depth about uh, the data that you are dealing with so this is a pretty small data set that's why i said it's good for beginners and for people who are at intermediate level but now let's go ahead and look at the 15 questions that i have made it for you all right so here we are analytics case study uh, the first question is data transformation related. So transform the margin column in two columns. That means one for run and another one for wicket. So what you need to do is you need to basically come to this column and convert this column into two columns. So one column basically if I add it over here, one column is basically saying uh, win by runs. Or let's say what I actually said one for runs and another for wicket win by run win by wickets so what you need to do is wherever the run was present in this case six run it's a win by 61 run it will come over here as 61 and it's basically in this case zero or null you can leave it and here in, in this case it will be eight wicket so this will be eight this will be four so you need to basically do an automated script which will uh, do this whenever the new data is coming to you so that's the number one thing that you need to do after that you need to figure out the answer of this question which country played the most odi in 2018 i'm sorry i wrote 2019 but that's not true uh, the data that we have is basically 2018 it's probably because we are in 2019 so while framing the question i may have wrote that the third question is top three countries who won the most odis top three countries who won the most odis in 2018 that means the data that you are dealing with now based on the ground map the country and hint is take the list from google that uh, uh, based on the cricket playing countries what ground they have the ground information is already present and then you can map the country information so those sort of situations come it's basically a data transformation uh, question then you have which country plays played the most matches in home ground 
for example, you have a lot of different these countries. So New Zealand has played in the uh, Wellington, which is New Zealand, Nelson, which is New Zealand. So you need to identify a country which played the most matches in their home crowd. After that, how was the performance of Sri Lanka? Now, this is a very open-ended question and this can be answered in various different ways. For example, uh, what was their winning percentage? What was their losing percentage? Uh, how many matches they played compared to the others? How many matches were played in-house? How many, many matches played outside of the country? And in outside, what was the winning performance when they were in the home country? What was the winning percentage? So on and so forth. As well as season, uh, whether they played uh, a, a good cricket in the first season of the cricket or the second season of the cricket or the third season of the cricket. So those sort of questions you try to explore based on the sub question which I just said and uh, figure out the answers which is it's basically a good candidate of even creating a dashboard. So think about it where you can create the standard metrics of winning percentage, losing percentage, winning percentage at home, losing percentage home, trend of how many matches were played every month so on and so forth. And basically have the filter so not only Sri Lanka you can see every other country so it's a good candidate it's a very big question the question number six which will even keep you busy for days now the seventh question is what are the top three wins by runs that means the country who basically um, uh, you know played uh, second right and then month in which the most ODIs were played. Very straightforward question. You need to just engage the timeline. Then team which toured most foreign country. Again, that means team which played on most uh, foreign surface or visited to other countries. How many cricket matches were played every month? It's a trending information. Like I said, this can come. Uh, on which ground most games were played, right? So you need to identify that ground. Did India win mostly by chasing or playing first? Now you have two columns and you need to juggle through those two columns and figure it out. What has gone really in favor of India in that case, which gives a sort of a trend, which basically result into sort of a data science uh, where you can see uh, whether it's good for India whenever they chase or they play first. Then top three country who won most matches in 2008 and what was their winning percentage every month. So it's basically two different visualization that you need to create in this case. Team which had most lost matches or which had lost most of the matches. That means team whose performance was really down and then you we can basically that can be a uh, question of a story if you have seen. My videos related to the tableau uh, where I talked about the story. This basically can be a story point that uh, okay this is the team which uh, has lost most of the matches. What was the reason of it? And then you start building the story points like uh, first of all their key players were out or not or uh, they played most of the matches on foreign surface or most of the time the team is known for uh, playing first and winning the matches but they lost the uh, let's say uh, toss and uh, they were playing second so those sort of things you can you can really uh, brainstorm around and uh, create a story around it and finally 15th did this team loses the main matches by chasing or playing first so it's related to question number 14 that it lost most of the matches then it lost the matches by chasing or playing first so these are the 15 questions I want to give you, which I believe will keep you busy for at least at least five to six hours. If you are a beginner or an intermediate level based on the transformation, based on the different things which I have uh, asked you to do in this case study. And if you are able to do it, I would be really, really glad to see your result. If you are building it in ClickView or ClickSense or especially in ClickSense, you have Click Cloud where you can upload it and show it to me as well as show it to others as well as put it on resume, right? Uh, if you are making something really great. And then second is if you are using Tableau, then upload it on the Tableau Public 
even Power BI gives you the capability to upload it on their cloud or if you are maybe using Python or if you are using R or if you are using any other tool, I will be really glad to see your output and something if you can make much more interesting visualization out of it based on this data, uh, based on the performance, based on the matches that were played, then this would be really interesting to see and I would and I can promise that if I really like your stuff, I will showcase this on my channel by showing it to the others which uh, uh, which which you have produced something that uh, from that it, uh, one can inspire and uh, create visualization like yours. So I hope you will enjoy this case study and if you have any question uh, make a make your answer ask your question in the comments that's what I wanted to say. So, so yeah that's pretty much it and I'll meet you with a different case study.